top of the morning. I am always in the right place at the right time. Um, that is an affirmation and a mantra that I have been saying to myself for the last several days, maybe even weeks. I don't exactly remember when I started saying it, but at any rate, I am always in the right place at the right time. And so last night was the first time that I actually noticed that I was in the right place at the right time. Uh, story time. So last night I had to take a friend to um, the airport. Um, and so he, he, he asked me to be at his apartment at 7.15 to get, he lives like 10 minutes away from the airport. Um, at 7.15 so that he could get there with enough time, you know, to get to TSA and blah, blah, blah. Um, well, in true me fashion, I got there a little late. I got there like 7.30, but it was no big deal. Um, still, still got him to the airport on time or whatever. While I was like on my way there, I was like, I'm getting, I'm hungry. I'll stop at a, I'm going to stop at Subway on my way back home. Well, I checked like what time I local, like the one that's like right up from my apartment, um, what time they close. I was like, oh, they're going to be closed by the time I get back. So I was like, well, let me just find one close. So I dropped him off and I Googled, I was like, okay, Subway near me. And it was one like very close. So I said, okay, I'll just go to that one real quick. Excuse me. So um, I get to that Subway and... So with it, be, with it being like kind of an unfamiliar area and Nashville, I was like, I hope this place is not dirty and I hope it ain't finna be no white people. <laughs> so um, I pull in and I pull like right in front of, of the subway and I can see into the subway and I see like two people in there. There is a... Um, a white guy sitting down eating, and then there's a black woman who's actually working behind the counter. And I swear to God, the moment I saw her, I said, oh, thank God, a black woman. I don't know why I had such a fear in the moment of of, of running into white people, but I did. I just, I, I wanted to see some of my folks last night, and I did. So I go in, and, um, I, you know, I start to place my order or whatever, and I noticed the lady... Um, I noticed her looking at the white guy that was eating, that was sitting down eating. And I noticed the way she was looking at him. And she would kind of roll her eyes a little bit when she looked at him. And I was like, okay, maybe he's like, you know, giving her a hard time or she clearly don't like him for whatever reason. But she did it like throughout the whole order. She did it like several times. And so I started to get a vibe. I'm like, so I don't like this. Something's, uh, something's off. Something's off. So um, as she's making my sandwich, she said, she kept looking at him. I think she said something. I can't remember at this point. But as I got down to like the end of the counter about to pay, um, I think she said something else. And I was like, do you need me to stay? Do you need me to stay for a minute? And she was like, if you don't mind. I said, not at all. So she um, she gave my order and um, I got my bag and I just went and I sat like at the, at the door, I mean, at the table closest to the door. Uh, oh yes, while I was while I was about to check out, he had gotten up and came back to the counter. She was like, do you need anything else? And he was like, yeah, I wanted to order another sandwich or whatever. So that's why I asked, like, do you want me to stay? So, yeah, I just sat down and um, she made his sandwich and he walked out. And so, um, hey, mama. And so um, when he left, <laughs> to be honest, before the door could even close, she was like, okay, stand it. <laughs> um, and so I was like, well, what, what was going, what's going on? Because I could tell the way you were looking at him. Um, she was like, yeah, he just, all, every time he comes in here, he just, he either, he like 
he gives off this weird vibe. Like he does weird shit. And like the last, I think he, she said like the last time he knocked some stuff down and blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? And she said, yeah, one, one time he came in here and he just like sat at that table and he just stared at us or stared at me. And I was like, oh no, this is, I don't like this at all. And so I was like, and so I made sure to make sure that like, he wasn't like waiting outside for me to leave. So I kept an eye on him and what car he got into. And, and sure enough, he was like sitting in his car. So I was like, okay, he ain't gone yet. So I can't go. But I was like, so are you here by yourself? Like, are you here alone? She's like, yeah, I'm here by myself. I was like, oh no, girl, I don't like this. I don't like this situation at all. Um, she was like, oh no, no, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll lock the door. And I'm like, okay. And she was like, yeah, he, he just, he, he just creeps me out. And I'm like, okay. And so I'm like, I can't stay here forever, but also I don't want to leave this lady. Um, so I'm like, is there anybody you can call to be here with you? She's like, well, I'm gonna text my manager. Um, but yeah, no, I'll be okay. I said, okay. Um, and so she had actually went to the door and she was like, what car did you say you was in? And I had my back turned. I was like, the that, that red car. And she was like, what red car? And so I turned right and he had left, thankfully. And so I said, oh, he's gone, he's gone. Okay, good. So um, she was like, yeah, th I, I, I appreciate you for staying. I was like, girl, it's no problem. Because um, again, I got, I got, I just got a vibe. Like this ain't, something's off here. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, he left. I made sure he like went away. Like I watched him go like through an intersection and all that. Um, and yeah, that was that. Um, And afterwards, like when I got in my car, I was like, I was meant to be there. I feel like I was I was in the right place at the right time. Cause again, I was late picking up my friend. Had I gotten there on time, we probably would probably would have left um sooner for the airport. I may or may not have stopped at that particular subway. Um I pro in fact I probably would have opted to just stop at the subway here. Because it may have not have been close. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I I felt... I got in my car and I drove away. And I just started being very grateful for that moment. Being very grateful for being in that place at that time. I don't know if I... I don't know if I stopped anything. I don't know if I prevented anything. I don't know what my presence there did. But I felt like I was I was meant to be there with that lady in that moment. Um. So, yeah. And I got two free cookies out of it. So... Um, but yeah, I am always in the right place at the right time.